freezer or in the fridge. So I thought, why? I'll just cook those. So you get a rear glimpse of me in a t-shirt. It doesn't happen very often, only inside the house. So let me show you how I'm gonna get this squirrel prepped up. It's already skinned and gutted. Let me show you what else I'll do. So I just clean these in the field and I'm gonna take and I'm gonna cut the fat off any blood clots. And just do a little trimming. I try to do a pretty good job of this when I'm dressing them in the field, but I always like to go back right before I cook. Make sure I get any hair off. little squirrel he's dressed and that's just me eating today so I didn't cook I'm only gonna cook one so we'll take him we'll put him in the pot now this is not just an old squirrel um, but this is not just a super young one either I found it's called parboiling or partial boiling um, supposedly so what I will do, uh, and then I will take it out and I will fry it. Okay. For those that are curious, I'm going to put in here, I guess I can measure it for y'all. I say that. So I got black pepper. I don't think this is this. 100% necessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to put two teaspoons of black pepper and then This is garlic salt. I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of garlic salt. That should be good. Now, all garlic salt's not created equal. Some's different. This Landry's is a lot stronger of a garlic salt than what you would find um, in a great value. It's just, I don't know. So, find the ones you like. I'm gonna take a. Let's take, a, let's take a fork and all this is kind of sitting on top. Yeah. And I'm just going to stir that into the mixture there. So now, just sitting and waiting. Now I'm not putting a lid right over it. For those that don't know that, you put a lid right over it, when it starts boiling, it'll boil over. Lift it off to the side, it won't do that. So just sit and wait. We really like these. Yes, I make biscuits from scratch quite a bit, but if I'm just the only person eating, I'm not going to make a homemade scratch biscuit. Um, these frozen biscuits, I like them, and I'm kind of picky about it, so we're going to preheat our oven. Okay, we're gonna wait on that. And all you gotta do is put that on a, on a cookie sheet and then you're good. So let's see, yeah. 
18 minutes on a cookie sheet, so that'll be fine. We have to the side. Next thing, very traditional Southern dish here. What I like to do, really like this, it's super simple. Okay, I've got my knife, I've rinsed it off. I've rinsed it off a little better. Okay, I've cleaned my, need to rinse my potato. Peeler. Now sometimes I'll fry potatoes with the skin on, but ah, we'll just we'll skin this potato today. get them down to about a quarter inch thick by three quarter inch cubes. Now some are going to be a little different than that. We're doing this by hand. You try to want them, you want them to be consistent because that way they all cook the same. You don't want to burn up a little crispy piece while your thick pieces are still hard. Okay, we'll take just a yellow or white onion. The ganders, we love onions. Paige does it. My dad, my brother, and I, we love onions. So I'm going to peel this onion. We can eat an onion like an apple. This one's not a very good one. the core I mean you don't really want to eat that now I'm gonna save a couple hunks because I like eating them I'm gonna save just a couple hunks usually one onion is good for two to three normal size Irish potatoes or in this case Idaho potato uh, or no in this case it was a russet potato if this was a russet potato them and Irish potato are pretty similar in size so that's that's what I've done so since it's only one potato for me, one potato per person normally, um, you don't need a full onion, it'll be kind of overwhelming. So I'm going to set some off to the side and then I'm gonna make these about the same size as um, my potato slices there. Watch my pot, get these spread out, a little bit of the core. So I got those spread out there. You can see them, something like that. All right, next step. Once again, black pepper has been used in the South for a long time, a very common household spice. Black pepper, you can also put on meat when you're field dressing if you're a long ways away from home and uh, it'll keep the flies off. Pro tip. Now I like seasonal or season salt. You can use regular salt. And you can't get these too salty. So that's enough. Perfect. Now for my fresh eaten onions, I gotta find granny salt shaker. Gotta find 
great granny salt shaker. Salt just brings the flavor out of foods. You can take a really hot onion and salt it. Now that, see that, that's, that's pretty heavy salt on the salt. And you can just eat it. Love her onion. This is a small, I'm not sure what number it is, probably six inch. I want to get the sides coated, it'll run down from the sides to the bottom. So I'm putting my big skillet right here just to start gaining some ambient temperature from this and this. And it'll start kind of preheating my skillet. Uh, Crisco is almost all melted. And that little skillet. Oven just preheated, it's done. Squirrel's boiling, I've got 20 more minutes on it. and put it on top of the potatoes. Let that get going. I've got my chamber pot lid up there. Squirrel is a bowling. I might flip him. Tongs. I mean, really, as long as I'm bowling this thing, you could probably it's probably safe to eat, but I want to a happy girl. W&R, only use W&R. Bottle warmer's ready. Get her black pepper again. I never measure this, but I'm trying to measure it for y'all. I'm just kind of eyeballing that, the consistency that I like. That was one tablespoon per squirrel. Let's go with two tablespoons. Yeah, it looks much better, much better consistency. Let me stir it. Now, I'm a big fan of mustard. Teaspoon of mustard. I'll do it. And then I'm 
one tablespoon of seasoned salt. And I can always come back and salt it later. I'm always guilty of making stuff too salty, so I'll wait and come back later if it's not salty enough. Remember, we already put it in there with garlic salt. Um, I don't think I mentioned, but I should. The reason I'm boiling it is to make the meat more tender. Okay, that's the only reason I'm boiling the squirrel instead of just frying it, is to make that meat more tender. Okay. Pork tender, onions about to become translucent. Got a little crispy there while I was giving her a bottle. That's fine, I like a little bit of crunch. So I'm going to turn that burner off. Go ahead and light this burner. I'm gonna cook ours, that's about right there, about that kind of flame. But there's high. Back a little bit in medium heat. So, okay. over here, get the bread and stones, find the squirrel into the flour. Still pretty warm, so we're gonna flip. Actually, this is a sheep. I didn't kill, I didn't even shoot a male squirrel, it's all females for some reason, which is odd. I'm gonna get some poultry shears here, real quick. coat of flour, some of everything, the bread and some of the best part. Good coating of flour here because this is already preheated. Take my bold squirrel. Enjoyed it. There'll be more critters to come and just keep making every toe push.